Hello, this is Tamara Evans, Digital Services Librarian at the Kings County Library. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access and read ebooks on your computer using the library's Valley Cat, Valley Cat catalog. Before we begin, you want to make sure that you have your library card available, as well as know your four-digit PIN number. If you don't know what your PIN number is, you can call the local, your local library and we'll be glad to assist you with getting that information. To begin, you want to go to the library's website, which is located at kingscountylibrary.org. Next, you're going to navigate on the screen until you see the word catalog and then click on it. Once you arrive at the Valley Cat homepage, you're going to type in the title of the ebook that you're looking for. So for this tutorial, I'm looking for the book Wild by Cheryl Strayed. And I'm going to just keep all fields selected and then press the orange search button. So what you'll notice is that a total of 13 results came up. And since I'm looking for an ebook specifically, I'm going to go to the left side of the screen here and then click where it says format, which brings up a variety of options. Since I'm looking for an ebook, I'm going to go over to where it says ebook and check the box in front of the word ebook and then click the blue button that says include, which will reduce the number of choices from 13 down to 3. So as we can see with the three results, this first one is Wild by Cheryl Strayed, and since the options given are HTML, Adobe EPUB, or Kindle, this means that this ebook is in the Overdrive collection. If I scroll down to the second result, this is another copy of Wild by Cheryl Strayed. However, as you can see for the electronic format, it shows it is found in the Cloud Library EPUB, so that's going to be in our Cloud Library collection. So. I want to check out this ebook from our Overdrive collection, so I'm going to go to the first option and then click where it says download. And then this is going to give me the option to type in my library card number. And then my four digit PIN number. And then once I type in those two pieces of information, I'm going to click the login button. And then it's going to present me with three options for download. Either Adobe Digital Edition, and if you're going to select this option, you're going to need to have the Adobe Digital Edition software downloaded to your computer, HTML, or Kindle. I'll discuss how to download an ebook through Kindle in a future tutorial. So for this one, we're going to select the second option, which is HTML, and then I'm going to press the blue checkout button. As you can see, once I've done those two things, it's going to open up the ebook in a separate tab like so. So as you can see, here's the cover of the ebook, and then if I want to start reading it, I can navigate using my arrows on my computer keyboard. And there's other options as well. So if I wanted to zoom in or zoom out, I have that option. I can also sync it. If we look up top here, this provides the words. And I can change how that looks. I can zoom in or I can search for specific terms. I can bookmark portions of the book or I can click here, which will show search book chapters, bookmarks, reading settings, and tips and secrets. Another thing to note is if I wanted to see how many digital titles I have on my account, I can go back to the first tab that shows my library card account, go to my account, And then looking at the checkout tab here, it shows digital collect checkouts or library checkouts. So digital checkouts are any ebooks that you check out from Cloud Library or Overdrive, and library checkouts are any physical materials. So if I click here where it says digital checkouts, 
you now see that it shows that I have one item digitally checked out, which is Wild by Cheryl Stray. It shows that it's an ebook from Overdrive, and it shows the date when the book will automatically re be returned back to Overdrive. If I decide, however, that I no longer want the ebook, then first I'll click out the tab where the ebook is being shown. So let me click out of that. And then if I decide I no longer want the ebook, I want to return it early. It's as simple as clicking on the title of the ebook and then pressing the blue return item button and then confirming that I actually do want to return the title. And as you can see, the digital book has now been returned back to OverDrive. Once I'm done utilizing this, then I can log out of my account. Press OK. And this will take me back to the Valley Cat home screen. This concludes the tutorial on how to access and read ebooks using a computer and the Valley Cat Library website. Please make sure you follow the Kings County Library Facebook page as well as the Kings County Library YouTube channel for more tutorial videos such as this one. Have a great day.